All right, everybody, what's going on? It's Thundershot, and I decided not to use my shitty frontward facing camera because it sucks, so I don't know if I'm gonna be pointing at myself the whole time during this or not, and it's really annoying to me. But welcome to what is finally the house tour video. This is pretty much something I've been doing since I, so that's something I've been talking about doing since I moved in uh, Infinity months ago, like nine or so months ago, what was it? I don't know, I don't remember. I moved in here a long time ago. We're rolling up on the year lease if we haven't hit it already. Yeah, about a year, about a year ago, and uh, yeah, people have just been asking for the house tour video a lot. It's something that I wanted to show off, kind of talk about a bit. Uh, you might hear Trollbird over in the corner right now doing his shenanigans. I was letting him fly around a little bit before the video started. This is Sky. If you ever hear a bird in the background of my videos or more frequently in my streams, uh, that's him. I'm going to put him up as soon as he decides to land, but he's not. I'm pretty sure the phone's probably freaking him out. Normally when I'm over here, it's just me and him. He's not, he's not a big fan of change. He's not a big fan of different stuff. And he also has a lot of feathers. I even cleaned his cage a little bit before the stream started, but he's got a lot of feathers obviously flying off him. Shadow's the same way. You'll see my dog here in a little bit, but let's go ahead and let's get to the important stuff. First of all, this is my office. This is uh, everything we got going on. I got, I always have stream chat pulled up and then the bot to make sure the bot's running stream chat correctly. And then that's the, that's the dual monitor setup we got going on with my table here. I got my water. I still have those Dragon Ball card packs. The lighting in here is horrid. Dragon Ball card packs. This is my not a DX racer. A lot of people ask me when I got my DX racer. This is an AK racing uh, chair. Totally fine by me. I've never owned a DX racer, but the AK racer is just fine by me. When R9 comes over, he enjoys sleeping in it, if you want an idea of how comfortable it is. Uh, this is the actual computer itself. It's sitting on carpet, uh, but it doesn't overheat, luckily for me, at least not yet, and I've got some shoes kicked off underneath there. I need to clean it though, it's getting dusty. It shows up a lot better on the camera than it does in real life. It doesn't even look that dusty to me. But the camera like enhances it, which is fine by me. Um, there's my Fallout 4 Pit Boy Edition box, along with the Dragon Ball I got there. Along with the goods, actually. I used to have these in my room. I don't even know when they got moved down here, but... I've gathered them, and one day I will make my wish to take over the world, but we're gonna hang on to that for a little while. Excuse me, my games are all sorted out up here. What do I even have up here? I got, I got Xenoverse, that's Naruto hanging out, and the Uncharted collection. I need to organize those a bit. Uh, the Grandma and Grandpa thing is a weird thing I picked up when I first left home and moved to Missouri in the first place. That is something from Kansas City Comic Con. If you've ever seen the King of Kong Fistful of Quarters here, if you'll recognize, the guy on the right guy was like the good guy in that documentary. It was about Donkey Kong, like the original Donkey Kong game and getting the world record for uh, highest score possible, or, you know, highest score possible. The dude on the right was the good guy. Billy Mitchell was the bad guy in the movie, but I met Billy Mitchell in real life, and he's, he's he signed it. He's a really cool dude, and that documentary was apparently very skewered, according to his end, but he seemed like a cool guy. There's the precious. There's the precious PS4, along with uh, the light from God, apparently, showing through. There's the PS4. It's got a cool little stand up here. I never use these USB plugins, but... Uh, it's on a sideways stand, so it sits up like that. The game comes out of there. It's pretty sweet. Oh, God, I only have 15 minutes on this recording before my phone shuts off. I'm going to have to speed this process up. This right here is a giant clusterfuck, mainly because I brought the Wii down because I was going to try to learn how to speed run uh, Super Mario 64. And the movement in that game is not good. It is so hard to make Mario go where you want him to in that game. So I don't think I'm actually going to speed run that. Here we have one drawer full of stuff. I have a Retron uh, gaming console somewhere around here. So I have a bunch of these old games. I don't. I haven't broke them out and play, played them yet. But I got a bunch of these old Sega and Nintendo games for the Retron uh, that I do want to play eventually. Here we have a copy of Sonic 2, which is the first video game I've ever played. Ever since I made the history for the 100 subscriber special, for the 100,000 subscriber special, I made a history of Thundershot video. And how I got started on YouTube, I always kind of wanted to do my history with gaming and what all happened to me. A lot of these are GameCube games, and then Nicole's GameCube games, so not exactly mine. And then here we have a collection of PS3 and PS4 games out the ass. I have an unopened Bloodborne, a very underplayed Far Cry. Get these out of the way. I just want to show off the goods. There's Black Ops 3, obviously Mirror's Edge Play 3 just ended. This is the Fallout 4 actual disc case, which is badass. It's not metal, it's plastic, but it, it looks like metal, and it's... Pretty sweet, and then here we have, this is not every game I own, a lot of them are still at home, but pick your favorite. I'm an avid gamer, I'm an avid gamer, by the way, in case you were lost on that. There's more further back in the drawer, but, and then that's just a drawer full of cords and shit. So I'm going to add this game pile to the mess because I don't feel like cleaning it up right now. 
All right, what else we got in here? There's my Panthers jersey along with Moby Dick. Nicole likes to come in here and read sometimes when I'm streaming or making videos or whatever. Um, this is a new mini fridge. The old one that I had up until the other day just died. Uh, she bought it off a friend. Or yeah, we bought it off a friend for 50 bucks. So it wasn't going to have a long lifespan. But I, I got a new one. There's not even anything in it yet. Uh, but the goods are prepared. Believe me, the goods are prepared. Okay. Uh, what do we have here? All right, these are some of Nicole's drawings and paintings that she's done. By the way, after we get out of the office, the tour is going to go by really fast. Everything in this video is going to be insanely long, but the office is kind of the most important part, at least for you guys. So let's start over here. Oh my god, I'm losing my breath. It's really hot in here right now. This is a Last of Us thing I got from a Kansas City Comic Con. I don't remember which one, but you can get art. That's pretty much what Comic Cons are, is you're buying art and action figures. And that's why I don't enjoy Comic Cons nearly as much as I enjoyed PAX, because Comic Cons is just everybody trying to sell you shit, whereas PAX is showing you off, showing off really cool shit, whether it be free-to-play games or new games, but you actually get hands-on demonstrations and stuff like that. PAX is just art and t-shirts and figures and people, tr people wanting you to buy stuff, right? Whereas PAX is just showing you really kick-ass games, you usually get a hands-on play in. But there's another thing we got from PAX. Actually, I believe... This one might have been a gift from R9. I'm not sure on that, though. I, I lose track of so many because I have so much shit now since I started doing the YouTube thing. Um, here we have... This is a painting Nicole did for me. Uh, obviously, Goku on the Nimbus. This is another painting Nicole did. She changed Nimbus color so it would stick out among the clouds. That's Goku on Nimbus and Shenron. He's also... He's wearing a brown suit as well. She decided to change the color on that one. Um, here's a couple drawings she did quite a while back. You got Goku in the Frieza fight. Teen Gohan in the Cell fight, and then Goku and Kid Buu uh, going at it. And drawing and painting is just something Nicole does in her free time that she really enjoys. And I end up with cool art like this. This might be one of the very first things she ever made me. She asked me what my four favorite Pokemon were. This was years ago. Uh, and I told her Infernape, Shiny, Mew, Shiny, uh, Suicune, and then Raichu is my favorite Pokemon of all time. And she did that little drawing. That was when my hair was shorter, obviously. Another thing I picked up at a Comic Con. Uh, it's all Gen 1 stuff, plus Lucario and Tyranitar, who were decent enough Gen 2 Pokemon to make the cut. Otherwise, I almost didn't get it, because Gen 2 Pokemon, or yeah, Gen 2, Gen 3 Pokemon. Lucario came on later, you know what I mean. But, uh, I almost didn't get it, because it was exclusively Gen 1, except Titar and then Lucario. But, Lucario is Gen 4. People are going to yell at me if I don't correct that. Here we've got paintings from Rob Schirmberger. I don't know how to say his last name. He's, he's like the WWE painting guy. He's been on wrestling. He's been on Raw a few times. And they're not paintings, these are just pictures of his original paintings. But he makes these giant, uh, giant paintings that uh, he sells that are really good. we got Roman Reigns and CM Punk, uh, the boy. I've got those, I believe I got those at two different Comic Cons. I got the CM Punk one two years ago. I got Roman Reigns last year. And this year's Kansas City Comic Con has Stan Lee in it, and it's coming up real soon. Mikasa, another Comic Con. That one is a gift from R9. And it is a signed Cam Newton picture. If you're into the NFL, I am a very big fan of Cam Newton. This, I believe, is another Comic-Con. It's also not hung up straight right now. Attack on Titan. And then I actually won a giveaway Kagi was doing a while back. I don't know if he was raising money for a new computer or what, but I entered the giveaway just to enter the giveaway, and I told myself before I won the giveaway, and it, it's rolled. This is fabric, by the way. This is, uh, I don't know what the name of it is. I don't know what you call it. But anyway, uh, I entered the giveaway, and... I told myself, I was like, you know what, oh, that's a street sign that we did or did not steal a while back. Oh, and then hold on. Well, I'll tell you about the Kagi thing in a minute. This is probably my favorite thing in here. This is a Raichu. This is metal, and I can't move it or it'll fall, but it shines. I've still got it in the plastic, but it's, it's a metal. I wish I had a light to reflect off of it because it shines like hell. Actually, I'm just going to take it down and put it back up later. It's metal, though, and look at this. It's so freaking cool. I don't even know what to call it. I don't even know what the art style is. I wish I had taken it out of the plastic before because it looks so sweet. It's just a really badass Raichu painting I got at a Comic-Con. No. Anyway, so I entered a giveaway that Kagi was doing on Twitch. And I told myself, look, I'm a YouTuber. I can buy most of the stuff, or I own most of the stuff. Because he was mainly giving away copies of Xenoverse at the time when Xenoverse was new. And I was like, it's, if I win, I'll just tell him to give it away to somebody else. But then I realized I won the Attack on Titan rollout thing, whatever you call this. And I was like, ah, I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to keep that one. And of course, Trollbird in his natural habitat now. Uh, oh, and the play button. We'll show off the play button. Uh, I got this play button that is really weird looking. I got the I got my 100,000 subscriber YouTube play button around the exact same time that YouTube took a bunch of my videos down. This was a 
over a year ago, probably a year and a half, two years ago, YouTube took a bunch of my videos down. It was all my top rating videos that had over, I had one video with over a mil, or two million views, couple videos over a million views, and then a lot of playthrough parts that were well into the hundreds of thousands of views. YouTube took a bunch of my videos down and then sent me my 100,000 100, subscriber plaque. And I don't know if I'm ever actually gonna get those videos recovered, unfortunately. I also have a big box of shit. In case that interested you. All right, I think I covered everything in the office. And here we have Shadow, who turned a year old just a week ago, about. He also likes to, well, he's being lazy, but he likes to guard the door when I'm here. He's either at the door or over by the staircase, depending on where Nicole and I am at any given time. There's the box for the fridge if you wanna know how new it is. It just came in today. This is my Harry Potter shelter with the old mini fridge awaiting, it's just, it's just a shit closet, it's not really a lot to worry about. But if I ever have a kid dropped on my doorstep for any reason, I now have a shit shed for, for him to stay in as he grows up, just like Harry Potter. It'll be a Harry Potter story. Collection of shoes and stuff that we've gone grown over the years. Shadow's gonna keep being lazy. Oh, there's a bathroom in here. Nothing special. It's just a bathroom. There's a shower in there too. It's got a sit down shower for when you're Grandma wants to come over to shower at your place, which is a regular occurrence, I would imagine. A lot of people have their grandparents come over and ask to shower, but that's what ours is for. We got more paintings and drawings from Nicole out here. Uh, I did a Dragon Ball Z card video the other day, and yes, it was Hunter Hunter in the background. I have seen Hunter Hunter once myself, and now I'm showing it to Nicole, and she seems to like it a bit, and we just got to the Chimera Ant arc, so a lot of stuff slows down a bit. We're 15 episodes deep in that, but hopefully... Uh, well, it, it picks up soon, and hopefully she'll enjoy it. I don't know. She's liked Hunter Hunter so far. This is another drawing she did a while back. You can't really see Toad because he's dark blue, but Mario's red. The lighting in here is weird on the camera. Bowser, Toad, and Peach decided to go with Bowser instead of Luigi. Another one she did in similar fashion, Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, and Pikachu. It's pretty sweet. A couple drawings that she's done. This Loki isn't hers. This one was a gift from R9. The other Loki thing I'm pretty sure I bought myself. This one was the gift from R9. Uh, and it is signed by the artist who did it. Um, but this is a pretty sweet Loki drawing. These drawings are kind of dusty right now. This is a drawing that Nicole did of a little, I mean, you know, animated Thor. And then an Iron Man drawing, because Iron Man is my favorite and Thor is hers. Um, as far as art goes, this is the base floor, by the way. And part of the reason that I wanted to do this video so badly is especially initially when I moved in, um, I was so happy that I was able to afford a bigger place because before that I originally moved in by myself and Nicole moved in with me later on but the place I was living in before was maybe a, in total maybe a little bit bigger than the downstairs that I've shown you right now like not a little bit bigger maybe a little over half the size of the downstairs that I've shown you right now like imagine like front doors over there I've got the office and the bathroom right there and it comes out like right here maximum oh this is a sweet Nintendo 64 table that my little brother made me uh, in his shop class, which was really cool. I can't believe I'm forgetting about this. I'm about to run out of footage, so I'm gonna wrap this up and then I'm going to cut to a very short um, top four. But yeah, the Nintendo 64 table that my little brother made me in shop class is super sweet. Uh, but no, the place I was living in before, and like I started out and I lived there alone and it was too small for me. It was so small. And then Nicole ended up moving in with me uh, and it was before YouTube kicked off. Just due to YouTube, I've been able to get a much more livable place and it's super sweet and I'm super thankful for it uh, and I just I kind of this video was also partially a thank you to you guys for allowing me to get everything that I've got here because without YouTube and all this stuff it obviously wouldn't have happened but to be to be in a bigger place but the other place was so tiny I cannot get over that and I lived there for like two years it was it was straight up it was two years of living in just a hellhole I mean it was a shitty apartment people were probably running a meth lab in the floor below me and the dude next to me was on drugs all the time, and it was it was not a great place to live by any means. And the bathroom was small and shitty, and we had a bedroom that was smaller than my offices. If you just saw the office space, it was about the same size, maybe smaller than my offices. The bedroom was slept on a shitty full bed. Uh, both of us were sleeping on a full bed, which gives you absolutely no space. And then the living room, dining room was where I did all my work. So we really only had one TV and stuff to go off. We got a little back deck. We don't have a I don't have a yard or any means like that because this is a like a townhouse quadruplex thing. But let me go ahead and cut here. I have to delete a couple video files and then we'll get to the upstairs real quick. All right, so we're back and I freed up a little bit of space. Uh, I forgot to show off 
that was just some Amazon. It was on sale for, it was normally like $100. It was on sale for 10, so I picked up some abstract art so people can realize how deep and meaningful my life is. Uh, and think that I'm an individual, like, I'm such an individual person who expresses themselves better than they do. But, uh, shout out, come here. I'm gonna show off the dog. I'm showing off the dog right now. I hope that's cool. Give me the, no, give me the other paw. There you go. Good boy. Speak! Speak! Good boy. You gotta work him up to it a little bit. He gets speak and lay down confused. Like, sometimes he'll lay down when we tell him to speak, and other times he'll bark at us when we, uh, tell him to lay down. Oh, I got a breathy thing. When I was in the hospital, I got my appendix taken out. I had to breathe in this tube every few hours so they made sure I wasn't dying. Here, I got you a gift. There we go. He's got a rawhide. All right, so now, like I said, remember what I was saying before about how the place I used to live in was maybe a little over half the size of the bottom floor. I've got a top floor up here with more art and crazy stuff in it. We're going up the steps. We got more of Nicole's drawings on the uh, stairwell. Got the Gen 1 Pokemans. Squirtle War Turtle Blastoise. That's gonna look goofy in the video. I shouldn't turn the phone sideways. Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard, and then Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venus. So I can get a better look at that later. We come in here. Nicole is in her natural habitat of playing League of Legends. This is the guest bedroom that we've got going on here. And little cat perch for the window there. I don't even know where the cats are. I haven't seen them yet. They've got their tree that they broke, by the way. I don't know how they broke it, but they managed to kill it. Oh, he's in the tunnel. Oh, he's in the tunnel. Hey. Always waiting to attack. That's Ari right, in a nutshell. We got her a few months ago, probably like six or so months ago, as a rescue from our local vet place. So we've had her for a couple months. Um, told you before, Shadow turned o over a year old. Uh, just the other day, probably like a week or so ago, and we got him exactly six weeks after that. Uh, May 5th or something like that was the very was the day I came home with Shadow. So that's uh, more paintings that Nicole's done of Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie. There's one from her friend over there. And then we've got her little office space. She does homework and plays League and occasionally plays The Sims. And some of her posters. Supernatural. Um, I got her uh, this. It's Azog, but it's... The dude who played, uh, who did he play? The pun not the Punisher. I'm doing what? Deadshot? Deathstroke. Deathstroke. Yeah. Dude who played Deathstroke in Arrow in the TV show Arrow uh, also does Azog, and we met him, and I got him to sign that. And then a bitch in Lord of the Rings map with one of the elf necklaces things. That's yeah, that I picked up from a con because Nicole's real big into Lord of the Rings and stuff. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. And then this is Ash, he's a lazy piece of shit who doesn't do anything but meow and bitch half the time. If you're sleeping and he's bored, he'll wake you up. There's an annoying laundry room in there where laundry is done, that's why it's annoying. Little hall closet, bathroom with the cat litter box in it. There's another shower in there, we don't have to go in there right now. It's just another shower, there's nothing special to it. And then the bedroom that we got going on with a pile of boxes for clothes that we're going to donate or something in the corner that we're hanging on to that we don't wear anymore. More Nicole paintings, that is a love poster. It's probably the first piece of art I ever got. That is a Philip DeFranco love poster that I got from his website when he first started doing this kind of stuff. Um, I don't know if he made it, but he started selling it, so that was it. But yeah, Philip DeFranco was the first YouTuber I ever started watching. Nicole's friend made that for us as a gift. And this is a poster that I stole from my aunt because she didn't need it anymore and I liked it. Also years ago, that was probably the first art that I ever had that I got from my aunt, and then that was the first art that I ever ordered for myself, which is really cool. And then, yeah, we pretty much covered everything. If you want a metaphor of my life, we cleaned up a lot, or more more specifically, Nicole cleaned up a lot before I did this video, but everything was pretty great. Pretty much a good metaphor uh, for YouTubers in general is everything, everything looks great on the outside that we presented to you that you see in the final cut of the videos, but in reality, our lives probably look more something like this. Uh, just an absolute shit pile is what's going on. That's that's what's really happening with everything. But I think that's going to cover it. Let me go back to the bottom floor. Shadow's probably eating his entire rawhide already, knowing him. We have, I got him these dentist stick things one time, and they said long lasting on it, and he had those things demolished in five seconds. They were not even a challenge. But he's a big dog, so it's going to happen. But there you go. He's laying on his bed, gnawing on his stuff. I think that's going to wrap it up for me, though. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, the finally made house tour video. I think I said everything I wanted to say. Um, Show this, 
show this off for the DBZ nerds. I've got, oh shit. There's Resurrection Up. I don't want to pull it out because this thing's going to fall off the shelf right now. And then I've got, uh, not all of them, but I've got every season up to like the Cell Saga of season seven. Seven or eight. There might be more back there of Dragon Ball Z right now. That's going to wrap it up though. I've done enough. We've I've rambled on long enough. This video is too long as is. Thank you guys coming out. Hope you guys enjoyed the house tour video. I'm Thunder Shot. I'm out. Peace, Slate. If you have any questions about any of the art or anything, feel free to ask, and we will see you.